Hello everyone. So let's look at this question. Uh, an IS auditor is concerned. An IS auditor is concerned that unauthorized access to a highly sensitive data center. Okay. Whenever you are reading the questions, try to you know uh, stress upon the important words. So uh, IS auditor is concerned about what unauthorized access. Number two, bear highly sensitive data center. Okay, unauthorized access, highly sensitive data center, and through which uh, you know through which path. Okay, uh, unauthorized access gained through what? Through piggybacking or tailgating. Piggybacking. Okay, we have discussed about piggybacking okay I'll, I'll again explain piggybacking in short okay but let's first read the question okay so there are three things three words three important things is auditor is concerned about unauthorized access highly sensitive data center and for what piggybacking okay so the question is asking best recommendation by the auditor biometrics option number a option number b Procedures for escorting visitors. Option number C, airlock entrance. Option number D, intruder alarms. So, guys, let's try to decode this question and let's try to understand what exactly it's trying to say and what exactly do we mean by piggybacking. I mean, this is something which we have already discussed, but let me, uh, you know, help you with the with revising these uh, small small terms like escorting visitors. You know. What is airlock entrance, piggybacking, and all those stuff? Okay, so we'll understand this, and then we will solve this question. Okay, in case if uh, anyone knows all the concepts, please apply your mind, and you know you can uh, guess the right answer. Okay, uh, but for uh, but for people who are not sure about you know what exactly these terms are, let me explain you in short. All right, so first word here is piggybacking. Okay, so piggybacking is something which we have uh, discussed that what is piggybacking we have already discussed in the past piggybacking means unauthorized person unauthorized person who is not authorized accessing accessing behind authorized person unauthorized person who is not authorized who is, who is not allowed he is accessing behind the authorized person through a secure path it could be physical secure path it could be logical secure path okay so we have explained i mean we have we have uh, uh, you know uh, taken the example of physical access control and how this thing happens but when we say secure path it could be phys physical secure path or logical secure path uh, logical secure path okay so uh, let me give you an example so that you know you will understand uh, things in a better way and this is something which we have already discussed in the past but let me uh, you know uh, discuss and you know share this example with you okay so this is the video i think uh, yes this is uh, we are we are uh, you know talking about uh, piggybacking okay in a physical access control environment okay let me start the video okay so so now here you can see that this lady this lady is authorized person because she is having she has purchased the ticket okay for entering to a particular area okay so she ha she is authorized person she is authorized she is allowed to access a area okay so she is having she is authorized but the person okay uh, behind her okay so that uh, person he is not authorized okay so he is not having the ticket she is having the ticket but what exactly is happening over here is that can you see so she has put the token and when the doors gets opened uh, you know uh, uh, her child is also entering the same area okay uh, behind her so 
unauthorized person the the this boy he is unauthorized person because he doesn't have the uh, the token okay so unauthorized person is accessing behind authorized person okay uh, his mother uh, she is authorized person so uh, unauthorized person accessing behind the authorized person in a secure to a secure path okay this secure path could be a physical path or it could be a logical path okay so we are talking about physical example over here okay it could be logical example also okay so in case of you know when uh, your uh, data packets are you know uh, traveling so unauthorized packet is accessing behind the authorized packets okay this is the logical example we have discussed about those those stuff in domain 5 but i just wanted to uh, you know let you know about what exactly is piggy backing so i hope now you understand what is piggy backing all right so uh, the question is an is an is auditor is concerned about unauthorized access to a highly sensitive data center all these words are very important because the data center is highly sensitive okay and here which might be gained by piggy backing so the question is not saying that the question is not it's not asking that unauthorized access can happen directly unauthorized access with the root with the help of what piggy backing okay which of the following is the best recommendation okay uh, option number a biometrics option number b procedures for escorting visitors okay option number c airlock entrance first of all what is airlock entrance what is airlock entrance again this is something uh, we, which we have already discussed in the past airlock entrance is dead man's door dead man's door this is something which we have uh, again discussed in the past but let me explain you in brief what is uh, dead man's door yes so we have seen this video in the past okay so there is a door okay this is this is a secured area this 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 particular area it's a secured one and this is a not so secured area okay and then the, the, here it's a door okay the person first okay the the person first will have to enter the a, a controlled environment okay yeah uh, okay so upon authorized credential the door opens overhead system scans the compartment to ensure single access okay once the person enters that particular door the door will get closed and then it will ensure okay the 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 machine will ensure that only one person has access not two persons so if two persons are, are standing together it will automatically detect that okay so once the person enters in the room in, in that particular door okay so it will detect if if, if there is single person or or a multiple person in that area and then that person will have to authenticate himself or herself okay now this authentication can be through various means it could be even biometric authentication it could be anything okay but now after entering first of all the the uh, you know the door has identified that only one single person is there inside the door and second thing is that that person will have to authenticate himself or herself okay now once the auth authentication happens then the then what then what will happen then uh, that that person will get the access right all right then so we have discussed about even the airlock entrance and what exactly and so basically what exactly it's doing is that it's it's preventing what it's preventing piggy backing right and it it is especially used in case of highly sensitive areas you know where uh we have to be very cautious about you know who who have are entering those areas so uh, these kind of uh, controls are used in these kind of places right all right so if someone wants they may note it down what is airlock entrance it prevents unauthorized users from access 
by forcing you are forcing the un you are forcing the users to enter first they will have to enter what controlled area plus plus second thing is what they'll have to verify their identity before allowing in secure area all right so this is airlock entrance all right next thing next thing to decode here is uh, option number b which is procedures for escorting visitors okay what is escorting visitors what is escorting first of all escorting means any visitor any visitor or you can say all visitors are accompanied by authorized personnel uh any visitor or all visitors are accompanied by authorized personnel at all times at all times throughout throughout the visit to ensure they only access they only access authorized areas and do not engage in unauthorized activities so basically what we are doing is that we are appointing someone okay we are we are appointing someone or accompanying all the visitors you know by our authorized personals you know of our of our, of our organization okay uh, at all the times of their visit okay wherever they are going so to to ensure that they are doing only the authorized activities and they are not entering any areas uh, for which they are they are, they are not been authorized you know so uh, so you have to understand one thing okay now when we say escorting the visitors it is important yes it is also important because the question is talking about a highly sensitive data center so you have to ensure that there is one person and if anyone is visiting that the our authorized personal should accompany him that you know what what uh, where he is going what he is doing and all those stuff okay now understand one thing that whenever the question is talking about highly sensitive areas or something like that you have to understand that one control won't work there should be combination of controls right okay so now here uh option number d is intruder alarms which won't be the right answer okay not you see whenever you uh, start solving any question try to look at the options which you can eliminate very easily so here option number d is what intruder alarms alarms is not a preventive control the question is talking about what the question is talk, the question is asking about a best recommendation a best control which is what a preventive control right so intruder alarms is not a preventive controls alarm cannot prevent it right so uh the thing is that option number d won't be the won't won't be the uh, right uh, option uh, option number a is biometric okay now uh, biometric is something again it's 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 good but the question is uh, asking not only about unauthorized access but the question is highlighting on piggybacking okay it is what i mean authorized person is accessing and there is unauthorized person who is accessing behind the authorized person right so the, the question is stressing upon piggybacking okay so even if there is biometric access okay let's say there is an authorized person who is who is allowed to enter a, a specific area through a biometric 
authentication mechanism okay and if i am standing behind that person okay so basically piggybacking can be done right so even if it's biometric biometric it's a good control but uh, it may or it may not prevent piggybacking right and secondly you have to understand that biometric can be added inside the airlock entrance you know we have seen the example of dead man's door and i have uh, you know discussed that you know we can also have a biometric authentication inside that door right so option number a can also be added inside option number c so even option number a won't be the won't be the right option okay now uh, people might get confused between option number b and option number c which is option number b is procedures for escorting visitors and option number c is airlock entrance honestly there should be a combination of both b and c which is required right but but when the question is asking you have to select one option between option number b and option number c the answer would be option number c which is airlock entrance why because of only one reason which is we can say first of all both are required both are good controls but and both should be used in combinations okay but when when the question is about choosing one uh, amongst the two options the option would be option number c the reason being option number b is a manual control okay so it is what it it, it can have human errors okay it's a manual control right and option number b is a automated control and we have discussed that automated controls are more more reliable than manual controls and this is why the re the correct answer over here is option number c which is the airlock entrance all right